My name is Gerard Grech. I'm a CEO of Tech City. Tech City is a government-backed organization that does two things, programs and policy convening. Let me tell you why there are, unfortunately, it's not working. Uh, Okay, so I guess the point of my presentation is why are there so many tech unicorns in London and the UK? If you take a look at this, this is a, uh, a piece of research done about uh, three months ago. And you can see that, you're very familiar with the term tech unicorn, that 42% uh, of all European tech unicorns are in London or the UK. So I think this presentation will give you an indication of why that might be happening and then you can tell me whether it's been helpful or not. So first of all, a bit of a short video that we can run. Can you play the video, please? It's very short. Hello? OK. Go back. Go back. Go back. Yeah. Yeah, press play. OK. No worries. It's not working. OK, so we as an organization, uh, do, as I said, we run programs that are targeted at digital businesses and we help them to get to their next stage of liquidity as quickly as possible. That's what we talk about. That's why we say we accelerate the growth of the internet economy in the UK. We also run a visa scheme that helps British businesses or any business that's moved here to attract the best and brightest talent in digital technology and innovation. Uh, we also do a research report that gives you an indication of what's going on in the UK's ecosystem, not just in London, but also right across the UK. We are very aware that there are emerging specialisms in machine learning, artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, digital uh, user experience, and these specialisms are emerging right across the UK. There are about 1.46 million people that work in the UK, which is about 7.5% of, uh, of the UK's population. So the reason why possibly there are so many tech unicorns in the UK is because of four key drivers. Number one, smart capital. Number two, strong business and policy environment that some of you obviously will be very familiar with. Three, there's a lot of talent here. And that's a, there's a number of reasons why there's so much talent here. And then we have a rich ecosystem. We're very connected between government, the London Stock Exchange, investors, entrepreneurs. There's a lot of cohesion in the ecosystem. When you look at the numbers, the blue line is the amount of money coming into the UK. These are, this is money coming into the UK tech ecosystem. The red line is the number of deals. The reason why the red line is going down is because the deals are getting bigger. And in the last quarter, up to September 2015, uh, just over 31% of all European VC money came into the UK. And this is consistently the case. To date, there's been $3.2 billion invested in UK tech companies, which compared to last year is pretty good going, 2.2 billion. And that's actually because there's a lot of funds here. Uh, you, you all know that. Uh, but what's really interesting as an observation point from my point of view, given where I sit, is that a lot of these funds are now being set up by entrepreneurs like yourselves, uh, who have operational experience of building big companies. Number two, policy conditions are very ripe here, end to end, meaning that there are policies put in place for early stage businesses and investors where they're able to get 50% tax relief on early stage investments, right through to the London Stock Exchange introducing a high growth segment to make it as easy as possible for tech companies, fast growth tech companies to list on the London Stock Exchange and, and, and their life on the, on the Stock Exchange for the first two years. Again, so smoothing the path to their success. Number two, R&D tax credits are fueling definitely a lot of innovation and investment in R&D. Visas, as I said, there's the entrepreneur's visa. We were one of the first European countries to actually introduce the entrepreneur's visa for technology. And actually now one of the first uh, countries in Europe to introduce a visa that actually looks at companies like yourselves are making acquisitions. So in the instance where uh, a British-based co British company, so it could be a German-based company based here in the UK, looking to recruit people from outside the EU and makes an acquisition of up to five people who have expertise in AI or machine learning, we will consider them as one team. Number four, corporation tax, 20%. Uh, it's the, actually the joint lowest in the G20. And number five, as I said, the London Stock Exchange has introduced a high growth segment, again, to accelerate the growth of the ecosystem. 
In terms of talent, there's a lot of creative talent. You are sitting within 40 miles of six of the top 10 universities in the world. UCL, Cambridge, Oxford, Imperial. And they're actually producing a lot of graduates, a lot of PhDs in data science, artificial intelligence, cybersecurity. And that actually is uh, proving extremely uh, important to a lot of fast growth digital businesses. Um, and, but it's not just London. What we're seeing is emerging specialisms in different areas and different capabilities that are powering the different sectors around the UK. Digital media production in, in Manchester, fintech and data analytics in Edinburgh, cybersecurity in Belfast, robotics in Bristol, uh, hardware and connectivity, and Internet of Things in Cambridge. Third, uh, thirdly, a rich ecosystem too. There's a lot of support companies uh, in London and the UK that really help startups get connected, meet founders, meet corporate companies, meet people within, within government to help sell their services. If you look at one of our programs, it's called Future 50. Uh, you may recognize some of these companies on here. But in the last, this, this, this was actually launched about 22 months ago by our chancellor of the Exchequer. And 791 million pounds has been raised, uh, 27 funding rounds, an additional 1.1 billion pounds of uh, money on the capital markets on the London Stock Exchange, plus an additional five acquisitions. The latest one being Unruly, that was uh, ac acquired by News Corp, News Corp uh, UK, in fact. So not only are you seeing smart investment, but you're seeing exits through acquisitions by companies here. And finally, the great news is that I have to share with you today. I'm delighted to announce a new program uh, called Upscale. Um, Upscale is a mentoring program um, to help uh, UK businesses based here work with mentors like Nicholas Zenstrom, like Brad Felt of Techstars, um, to help the mentor uh, them as they grow their businesses as quickly as possible and get to their next liquidity event as soon as possible. This is very focused on stage A businesses. So now we complete our portfolio of programs that are here to help digital businesses get through the whole life cycle of a digital business. From the academy, the academy was launched 11 months ago. We've had 20,000 people enroll uh, through the academy. Um, now we have Upscale, which is specifically for stage A businesses. And now we have Future 50 for later stage businesses at stage B and beyond. And with 35 seconds to go, uh, I will just say, hopefully, you know, I will ask you this question, just like Amazon would, has this help presentation been helpful in understanding why 42% of European tech unicorns are based in the UK? I hope it has. With that, I'll say thank you so much for coming. And thanks, Marco. Great effort. Uh, wonderful to see so many of you here at the NOAA conference here in London. Thank you.